the last century. By now, we should all know what a fascist party of government looks like, speaks like, and what it acts like. By extension, we should also know what illegal occupation and ethnic cleansing looks like. However, despite knowing that this, we fail in our duty to act. Knowing the BJP's projected journey towards genocide, we are, we, we are not doing what we should do. Don't take it from me, according to Genocide Watch, which exists to predict, prevent and stop and punish genocide, there are 10 stages of genocide model which has been used by the US State Department and the UN, and they have said that, they, that all 10 stages of the genocidal process in just Jammu and Kashmir are far advanced, whilst Kashmir is under military rule. Yet still, despite all the cautions and the signs, our government maintains a bilateral position in India-occupied Jammu and Kashmir whilst it applies Magnitsky-style sanctions into ch against China and makes a determination of genocide in relation to Uyghur Muslims. Mr Deputy Speaker, why the double standards? Is it not the case that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere? And why do we apply a different standard to our friends and trading partners and a different standard to our foes? Isn't it easier to be critical of our foes but bolder and braver to be critical of our friends? It is common knowledge that Kashmir is deemed the unfinished business of partition. The question on the minds of millions of Kashmiris worldwide and in the region is simply this. How will the butcher of Gujarat settle this unfinished business of partition? If the assessment made by genocide watching others is to go by, then we can draw the conclusions. And to those who ask why Kashmir and why we should care, Aside from the barefaced violations of international human rights and our colonial legacy, the answer is that Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir is the world's largest militarised zone and India and Pakistan are two nuclear armed states who are at the brink of war if India continues its warmongering. This should be enough to keep everybody up at night. The, less, the list of serious human rights violations by security forces in Kashmir and the, de, 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 de deliberate erosion of civil liberties by the ideological bed buddy of the RSS, the BJP government, is endless. Whilst Pakistan made a gesture towards peace by, by safely returning an Indian fighter pilot in 2019, the BJP have been accused of alleged torture and custodial killing of the leader Mohammed Ashraf Sehrai and kidnapping and desecration and forced burial of Sayyid Ali Gilani's body against his final wishes. Make no mistake, India is setting the stage for Kashmir and it isn't for a Bollywood blockbuster. The BJP's, the BJP's journey towards enacting genocide in Jammu and Kashmir must be stopped. Whilst the people of Indian-occupied Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir, look to the world to act, this government makes, makes urgent representations. I will not stop speaking, not until every mother in Kashmir is reunited with her son, until every woman in Kashmir is free from...